And we back. One of the most disappointing teams in basketball right now is the Atlanta Hawks. A lot of downs this season, but the other night, they got blown out by the Washington Wizards. And anytime you get blown out by the Washington Wizards, you need change ASAP. So today, we are trading everybody on the team not named Trey Young. And I guess not named Jalen Johnson because all reports say that those are the two people they want to keep. Obviously, this is not in the world of realism whatsoever, but I think Hawks fans deserve some success. So I'm here to bring that to them. Leave a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. 15 and 23. I mean, they, they lost by so many points, uh, 28 points to be exact, to, to, to Kuzma, Jordan Poole, uh, Denny Abdiya, and a, a rookie, uh, Bilal Koulibaly. Koulibaly. Koulibaly is uh, the way I've heard it pronounced. Uh, let's get into it. We're trading everybody except for Jalen Johnson, untouchable. Trey Young, untouchable. So that means just DeJounte, Clint Capella, so on and so forth. Okay, and I want to build these trades myself, at least some of them. Um, I kind of like the idea, like I said, this is not in the world of realism whatsoever, but there are some people that I think is going to be interested um, in DeJounte Murray. This is one of those teams. Let me see if I can, I can cook something up real quick. I'm going to try to get Rui, Austin Reeves, Jared Vanderbilt in a pick, and they want Sadiq Bey and they'll give us D'Angelo Russell. Are we just flopping rosters completely? You can take a second round pick from Minnesota. They want Sadiq Bey. Again, they'll give us D'Angelo Russell. I don't really have a, a lot of want of D'Angelo Russell on this team, but I can understand why they want to give him away because I'm assuming they're going to move um, DeJounte over to the one. So I'll take D'Angelo Russell. You could keep V8. Boom. They want three seconds. They'll give us a second. Uh, uh, you got yourself a deal, Atlanta. Well, well no, we're Atlanta. Um, so yeah. Woo, we did it. We did a deal. Is it a good one? It wasn't the best deal, but I just I wanted to send DeJounte Murray there because I think that's where he might get traded in real life. Honestly, got to figure out a team that could use Clint Capella as far as a center. Um, most teams already have their center. Maybe. Oh, well, 2K doesn't have this right. I mean, uh, Mitchell Robson is probably going to miss the rest of the season. Maybe not, but close to it. Maybe they could use Clint Capella, but they got Mitchell Robson only missing one or two weeks. So he'll be back very soon. Yeah, everybody has a center already that they like. Um, unless we throw Clint Capella to the Warriors, which I guess is possible. Um, I don't know what we get back, but it's possible. The Warriors is like the only Clint Capella team. So that's unfortunate. Um, now, this is not a one-year rebuild, so we can make some deals that may not make sense in the moment, but it might make sense in a year or two. I really want one of the young... I really want um, Kaminga. Now, obviously... That's, a, that's the, so, so, okay. Ooh, no, nah, that's a bad trade. What am I doing? But we'll give you, we'll give you back D'Angelo Russell. Remember when he played there for 40 games and they say, no, oh, I, I thought there was a chance. Okay. Maybe they don't want to give us that pick. So I'll, I'll ask for a 2028. 20, they say, no. Okay. Uh, I give you this Lakers pick. Okay. No, that's, that's dead. That's dead. I really want Kaminga though. I really do want Kaminga. Why? Uh, your guess is as good as mine, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, <laughs> we go try it. So they want Yekka Kongo. The trade I have for Yekka Kongo. Actually, should we prioritize that? Because I think a Yekka Kongo should be untouchable too. Maybe. I don't know. But 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 they didn't have untouchable. It's really just Jalen Johnson and Trey Young. So the trade I want to do that incorporates in Yekka is probably going to be for somebody really solid. I don't know who that is just yet. It's got to be a team that's not very good, I would assume. Like, can we go get, uh, can we bring in Kuzma? He's only an 82. He sh maybe should be like 84 if you ask me, but maybe we go get Kuzma. Oh, wow. Easy deal is going to get Pascal Siakam. Well, not easy, but like Pascal Siakam. You know, he's on the market as well in real life. You know, we can make something happen. We will give you Nyeka Kongu. We'll give you D'Angelo Russell so we can make this basically like a big three-team deal. We give you back um, hmm, uh, AJ Griffin. It's a lot of players. It's a lot of players. Hold on. You give us back your cheapest players. So give us back Garrett Temple. And you don't really have many cheap players. Uh, Christian Coloco's cheap, but he's injured right now. Uh, you're not going to give me Grady, Jalen McDaniels. So it will be Anyeka, D'Angelo Russell, AJ Griffin, Patty Mills for Pascal Siakam. Deal. No picks involved. So we, we have... Austin Reeves at the two. It's Trey Young, Austin Reeves, and Pascal Siakam at the moment. Let me cook, okay? Let me cook. It ain't pretty yet, but I promise you it might get there. Um, Jalen Johnson, I'm running you at the three now. Um, what's your three-point shot again? It's a 79. It's got a lot better from last year, Jalen. We see you in the lab, man. We see you in the lab. Uh, you're shooting 40% from three on the season. Last year, it was 28 percenter. So now we got to go trade Clint Capella for, I guess, another center, which, again, don't make a ton of sense. 
but we'll make it happen. Oh, we still have DeAndre Hunter who has a sore knee. So we'll trade him for the center. And Clint Capella could be for, for anything, I guess. Him and Kobe Bufkin, that's pretty good value. DeMar DeRozan. I'm not doing it. Last year, if his deal, DeMar DeRozan, I'm not doing it. I thought about it for like a millisecond, basically. But that's that's just... No, no, no. I'll bring in Malcolm Brogdon. They get a young player and Kobe Bufkin in return, even though they already got a bunch of young guards that they got to figure out. We got Malcolm Brogdon in the contract for multiple seasons. The president is here. So that's, that's a dub. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to take the injury off of DeAndre Hunter so he can get traded. I would love to see a team do this in real life one day, though. Not just a, not the rebuild, because we've seen teams rebuild in the middle of the season where they trade their good players. I want to see a team trade everybody on two, in a two-day span. Everybody's gone. The Knicks want to give me this Detroit pick that turns into a unprotected next year. I got to accept it. I, I'm, I'm New York, have fun with the four years remaining on DeAndre Hunter's contract. Um, so that's fun. We still got Sadiq Bay to move and some other people. But like for the most part, we've done a lot. We still don't have a center is what I've just for some reason neglected to think about. But we're going to get our center right here. We can turn to a three team and say, hey, we got Evan Fournier's contract. Plus, we're not trading our pick. Our pick is good. But plus the Kings pick. The Kings pick is lottery protected. So it's not going to convey. There's just not a lot of centers on the market, man. No, Nobody's selling centers. Who has a bunch of centers worth, like, they, they can afford to give one away? Like, the Bulls aren't good, so maybe they sell us, uh, the Vooch. Let's maybe go get Vucevic. I actually don't hate it for, for this. We got Pascal Siakam, Jalen Johnson. Vooch is only 18 million. I mean, we could, that's, ba yeah, that's basically just Evan Fournier. They want to flop first round picks. They want to give us their 2028. 20, I just don't want to do that. Um, I would rather give you a player in return on top of that. Uh, but I like the players that I have. Like, I don't want to give up Jabari Walker. I'll give you the Kings pick. Boom. Boom. All right. Vooch. You're 33. You're going to regress. But so, so what? So who's left? We got uh, Sadiq Bey. This guy, <laughs> just this guy. I don't know. I, would, I don't know. Um, so we need a backup shooting guard and we need a backup center for Sadiq Bay. One of the two. I bring in Ice, Isaiah Coro to be the backup small forward. Um, what is your three point rating, Okoro? It's the same as Jalen Johnson. Why don't you look at Jalen Johnson, one batch, Ice, seven. I don't think that's right, but but who am I? Who am I? You know, who am I? 2K don't add badges in the middle of the season. So we can go get uh, 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 Blake Griffin. You want to play basketball again? We're going to get Blake Griffin. And then the last thing I got to do is get rid of this guy. Um, he's probably a great player eventually. But right now, he's got some injuries. Uh, what was it? A sore back that we got to deal with. And then you got to go to your next team, my guy. I, I wish you nothing but the best. Oh, no. Uh, Gary Bird is here, too. We got to get rid of Gary Bird. So we'll just let's package them together, I guess. Gary Bird, this guy. <laughs> I feel so disrespectful not to say his name, but I can't, I, I don't know it. All right, Tristan Thompson, welcome to the team. How we feeling, y'all? How we feeling about the team? It's Trey Young, Austin Reeves, Jalen Johnson, Pascal Siakam, Nikola Vucevic. Off the bench, we have Malcolm Brogdon, Rui Hachimura, Ice Kokoro, Jabari Walker, B Blake, Blake, Blake Griffin. Wow, Blake is actually getting real minutes for us. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. But this is not a one-year thing. I, this is not a championship team. But we still feel pretty. We still feel pretty good about it. You know, we still feel pretty good about the people that we have on our roster. I trust everybody on the team, which is uh, maybe not everybody, but I trust some people. So we go against the Spurs here. Can we beat the Spurs? Yes, we. Oh my God. Whoa, Trey Young. It's time. It's time, my boy. It is time, it is time, it is time for you to hit overdrive. Now, 2K simulation, Trey Young, do not miss. That man does not miss. So, I said this not a championship team. The way the, the, the way this man be performing in these games, maybe it is. I, I don't know. Only time will tell. There's another win, almost a 20-pointer. And now Pascal doing this thing. Now, we do want to retain Pascal Siakam. If we're looking at contracts, he's the only person on an expiring that we really care about. Isaiah, Isaac Okoro, too. But that's pretty much it. We just got to bring back Pascal. Let's go to the playoffs, man. I think that's the word we make it. I think right now, yeah, we're right out. We're in the play-in. We're not going to be worse, I don't think. Or we're not in the play-in. We're, we're tied for the play-in. But, but but based on the two games I just saw, we should be a play-in team at least. Ladies and gentlemen, we rejuvenated our season. 
Um, Chris Paul gets traded to the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, that's something. We get most approved player from Jalen, um, which is cool. We rejuvenated our season and we won executive of the year at 41 and 41. I see that as an absolute win. Trey Young made an all NBA team. Absolute win. Um, what are we in the playoffs? Please tell me we're not in the play in. The answer is we are in the play in. We are, but we are in the eighth seed. So we get two chances to win one game. Um, Trey Young's all NBA, as you saw, 28 10. Good shooting splits. Pascal was 20 points per game. There's Austin Reeves and so on and so forth. All right. Who do we got? We got Indiana Pacers. Okay. All right. We well, all know what they team look like. They didn't make no trades. But you know who did? I do want to see how the heck Tim Hardaway Jr. and Chris and, and, and Rashawn Holmes is the trade that got Chris Paul there. So, yeah. Uh, Lonzo signed an extension. Good for Lonzo. It's not even active. Uh, but <laughs> Good for, good for him. I, I, I ain't complaining. Go get your bread. Go get your bread. All right, one game is all we need, and we get that one game. All right, perfect. Was it a close one? It was one-point game. All right, so for the playoffs, now that we in the official rounds, it's a nine-man rotation, which we feel solid about. Blake, Blake Griffin was cold anyway. <laughs> Blake Griffin's abs at three points per game. But per 36, not too bad, I guess. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going against Philadelphia 76ers, who got the two seed. They don't like they made no changes based on what I just saw. And, yeah, so it's the same team. Trey Young versus Max is a good matchup. We do not have a Joel Embiid stopper. That is the problem, though. And, but, but you know what? Nobody really does. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. Game three is a loss. We took home court advantage. We're up 3-1. The Atlanta Hawks are one game away. We're going to game seven. We're going to game seven. All right, that's fine. That's fine. When this, we lost the game. I'm already calling it. Thank y'all so much for, for tuning in. We lost the game, and we're going to go to the offseason and hopefully make some changes to this team so we cannot lose in the first round. Cool. Uh, we were those the inferior team there. I think we can all agree that's okay. Paul George and, and company versus Giannis, and the Clippers won the championship. Interesting. So we we don't have a lottery pick, um, but, but we're here to watch. So, yeah, the Pistons had the first overall pick. Remember, we have their pick, but it was lottery protected. They get the first overall pick, so that's fire. Our pick that we own of theirs for next season is going to be super valuable. And I think I want to cash in on some of that value. I think I want to cash in on some of that value. Um, let's take a look around the league and who made the playoffs and who didn't. Because that can, that, can, that can carry up. Well, the teams that didn't make the playoffs is because they didn't have good players. <laughs> All right, so we can draft here. We're just going to take the best player available. Welcome to the team. Um, first overall pick ended up being Ron Holland, so he's going to, to Detroit. And we got a guy out of Santa Clara. The last couple drafts, somebody, somebody came out of Santa Clara, and they all ended up being good rookies. So hopefully we get that too. We get that too. It don't look like it, but it, maybe we get that too. It's a small four slash center. Okay, all right. I mean, that's kind of cool. What, what, what can I really say? He can't shoot. He cannot shoot. Okay, so... Maybe I should have scouted him a little bit more to know that. But that's fine. That's fine. He might get flipped in the trade anyway. But we'll see. The priority is to retain Pascal Siakam. The Raptors are trying to get him back. It's a lot of money for a 30-year-old. But I offer it. And the Raptors are still the favorite. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Oh, we can't. They've patched the other method. Oh. Oh, we lost Pascal. Wow, that is devastating. That is devastating. Oh, no, he's... No, 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 no. No. He just finessed us. Pascal, you are really an op. Wow. Okay. Now we got to think again. We got to think through this again. Um, Pascal just finessed us. I respect it. I respect it. Well, he didn't sign, though. It said he did, but he's he's still not officially on the roster. 76 has got Paul George on a one-year deal, by the way. So he won a championship and said deuces. Oh, my God. That's frustrating, man. It's really frustrating. See, this is the thing. This pick is valuable. We got max contract money. I might just go be ultra aggressive then because we just lost our guy. We should just be ultra aggressive. So that's what I'm going to do. Even if it's a guy that I don't think is on the market, he might be but because we got the assets. Oh, and this guy's. I'm not trading for Julius Randle. But in this guy's really good value, oh, yeah, we might have to just try to splash. Donovan Mitchell, can you be the guy? Pistons pick, our pick. Oh, that's a Lakers pick. Um, Our pick. They say no. Okay. I ain't really want the small backcourt anyway. Could it be Z? Um, Trade the pick for Z. Come on. It's I know it's possible. 
We'll give you. We'll give up um, the Lakers pick too. Dang. Uh, we'll give up the kid, who's really valuable. Boom. All right. Um. Well, we did a deal. All right. We gave up a lot to get Z on the team, and now the best thing we could do from the center position is get Isaiah Hardstein, which I ain't mad at. But it's not saying that Pascal Siakam signed yet. And okay, so it's official, official. He should be on the Raptors roster now. And he is. Dang. I thought that was a world we make it happen. Um, but nope. I don't even remember what we gave up to get him. So I don't know if we won this. Well, we didn't win the trade. We lost him in free agency. But you give him. Zion jumps up four. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. He's the best player on the team. I did not think he was still regressing that much, but we'll take that. Um, now, obviously, we're we're a small team because Isaiah Hardenstein is seven, seven foot, but like everybody else, six, 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 eight. We're a small team for sure. Will that matter? I don't have the answer to. But to have Zion and Trey Young together, the breaks is going to be crazy. Pick and roll, ridiculous. Who's guarding them? And who are they guarding? I guess is a question, too. Um, I'm starting Isaiah Hardenstein over Mobamba. Um, I think that's the right move. Uh, sheesh. It's not pretty. But who knows? Things happen. A team could turn into sellers at the deadline, and we could go get a new center because um, we still got Lakers pick. We have a Spurs pick. We have two of our picks. So we are definitely going to be buyers eventually. First game with the new new team. 42 and 15 for Trey Young. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like another day at the office for Trey Young. You know what I'm saying? Uh, game two, another day in the office. It's an MVP caliber season, Trey. I see it. I see it on the horizon, Trey. I'm going to go into around the trade deadline. We ain't done. We think we can win this year, but we need some, some reinforcements. But look at that. Good start to the year. Uh, this team is bad. They're selling. They got pieces. Sabonis, we need a center, even though it wouldn't necessarily fit what we want to do defensively. We got to at least try it. Jalen Duran is on the team. Got to at least try it if you're on a selling team. Um, Jonas Valanciunas will pass. Alperin Shingun, I mean, again, I don't know who we really guard him, but I'll take it. Wimber Yama's not untouchable. I ain't, we ain't got the assets, but I got him on the list. We personally, uh, us, um, our team, not amazing. Seventh seed right now. Um, we have Isaiah Harden sign up set. So really, Mo Bamba's been starting for us at the center position. And I don't think that's a recipe for a team that's going to win a championship, you know. So we definitely need to upgrade that position more than anything. And the thing is, we don't have a ton of contracts, right? So Austin Reeves has been our shooting guard. He's been amazing. He's been ridiculous. Malcolm Brod's been our backup. He's been amazing. We don't want to throw those contracts. So the way we got to get our guy, it's got to be a guy like uh, Jalen Duran or Alperin Shingun because they're still on rookie deals. So I'm going to go try to get LP Again, I don't think we got the assets for it, but I, I would be crazy not to at least try. It's going to have to be, I mean, Hardenstein because he's upset. And then we don't have any more young players. Fontecchio's upset too. Sheesh, you're getting dealt too, bro. Um, Jabari Walker, we probably, I'll give up Jabari Walker. He's having a, a poor shooting year anyway. We got this Lakers pick that's not valuable. We got the San Antonio pick. We got our pick. Deal. Alperin Shingood. This year's average at 15, 8, and 6. Again, defensively, we're going to be struggling, but there's not a team that's going to be able to, to, to stop us from scoring with Zion averaging 30. My God. Alperin Shingun at 16 and his stuff, and then 28 and 10 for Trey Young, who's 50, 40, 90. Um, so we need to build this bench. Like that's, the, that's another one of the things. And we got a few people on the team that are upset. So now we can get rid of these guys. Let's go get a new backup wing and big, I guess, because th all three... Three, all three of the people I signed in free agency are upset. That's crazy. They're all upset. What do you think you would sign it up for? Corey Kispert is perfect for our team. Um, again, another guy that doesn't defend very well, but look, 43% three-point shooter. You cannot look past that. We are an all-offense-oriented team. And guess what? That's going to win us a ring. We do keep seeing Drummond pop up, and Sim Drummond is crazy. He's coming off the bench and averaging a double-double. I'm not even thinking twice because they're also giving me a pick, which we'll take. Double-double machine, Drummond is the backup. Um, we need Mo Bamba to slide over. I know it don't make sense, but it does in 2K's in 2K logic. Drummond is actually I'm drumming. Uh, Bomba is actually a pretty good backup for Io Dosumu and a pick from the Bulls. That's a deal that's worth doing. Io so far this year is okay. You know, it's nine points per game. He's a he's a role player. He's a backup shooting guard. So we should have a more balanced lineup right now. 
with a 10 man rotation. So cool. I but I still do want to prioritize getting minutes to our top three dudes. So Trey Young up, Zion up. Zion, if we can finish this season strong, Zion has to be an MVP candidate, right? Nope, never mind. No, he's not. Can he be a most approved player candidate? He is. It's from 21 to 30. Yeah, I think you deserve it too, Z. We got to win more games, though. We got to win more games. First game after all these trades, please be a win. This is the end of a trade deadline. We win by 23 points. Z's being amazing. Alperin Shingun with eight assists. We good. We, we, we might be able to do it. I don't know. We still got more time. Jokic is the MVP, 28, 12, and 10. Shout out to Big Yoke. Um, uh, uh, how did they get him? Six pick. How did Philly end up with the sixth overall pick? I have no idea. Um, Cam. Then we got Vic. Zion does win most improved player. That's huge. We won 52 games, so we were better in the second half of the season. Uh, we had two All NBA players. Like, come on, man, stop messing with them, with them Atlanta Hawks, y'all. So we end up being the one seed. 52 wins is enough for the one seed. Now it's a lot of parity. The top four seeds all won 50 plus games, so it's not like we dominated, dominated. But you saw the first half of the season, we were 27 to 24. And then the second half, we oh my god, we lost three games the rest of the season. Oh, wait, wait, 27, 24. We we lost uh the six games for the rest of the season. So no, we were still really good. Uh we got the uh the New York Knicks who have DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, we gave them DeAndre Hunter. They gave us a pick back, and I think we flipped that pick for something else. We we someday we should do like a trade tree. We trade all of these people for this person, and then we got a first round pick that we flipped that first round pick for this person. Whatever, whatever. So we got the Cleveland Cavaliers in the second round. Y'all know how good they could be in simulation. They have basically four 90 overall players. We don't have that. We have no. We we all have about three. We all have about three. This is a good matchup. We're actually not as good, but but whatever. We got the most improved player. We got we're the team with two All NBA players. Y'all don't know if y'all have one. I ain't check. And we beat them in four. All right. So now we got the Bucks. It's Dame. It's Middleton. It's Giannis and Bobby Portis now. No Brook Lopez. Maybe he's coming off the bench because he's old. And then they got uh, AJJ in there as well. He's got a guard, Austin Reeves. Um, it's a good matchup for him. Game one is a win. Zion and, and Alperin Shingun were amazing. Game two, Austin Reeves get injured. I forgot injuries were on. I'll be honest with you. It's day-to-day, -day though, so I'm not tripping. He's even still in the lineup. It's not even something we worry about. Game three, we win. Are we sweeping them? Yes. Shout out to the Knicks. They're the only team to take a game for us in the Eastern Conference. We're in the finals to go against John Morant and company. Uh, it's John Morant, Desmond Bain, Big Body, David Roddy, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Daniel Gafford. Good team. Dare I say great team. I mean, they're in the NBA Finals, for God's sake. We're better, though. Game one is an Atlanta Hawks win. Hawks fans, are y'all ready to raise that Larry O'Brien? Game two. Is the Atlanta Hawks win? Eight turnovers, Zion. Oh my God. Game three. It's not an Atlanta Hawks win. Hold on. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Um, game four is, though. The boys locked in. Alperin Shingun was amazing. Who's going to win Finals MVP? It's going to be Trey. 29 and 11. Amazing in the finals. And that's, see, that's all they got to do with Landry Fields. All you got to do is trade for all of these people to end up with Zion and Alperin Shingun. Because those players are on the market. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. And if you enjoyed, th th those things help a lot. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.